I don't think integration is about denying people's difference. Integration is really about the acceptance of difference and being able to share the space together that we live in. I find Limerick to be a very friendly and welcoming city. I'm new to Limerick myself. I came to Limerick last January in 2009 after living in the UK for over 15 years. So I suppose in one way I'm kind of a migrant, an Irish person returning as a migrant to Limerick City, although I'm, there are lots of advantages in terms of me returning. So to me Limerick is friendly and welcoming and it's a small enough city to get around and to get to know people. My first name is Raj Thapa. Uh, the family name is Thapa, and the first name is Raj, R-A-J, Raj. Uh, actually, I'm from uh, Nepal. Uh, everybody knows the, you know, the uh, Mount Everest. That's the roof of the world. So I'm from the Nepal. So uh, I'm here in Limerick at the moment. So I'm working in a restaurant as a barman. Uh, I'm here in Limerick since uh, 2001. Um, my name is Jean Ryan Hakizumana. I'm from Rwanda and I'm living here in the island about, about seven years. My name is Tendai. I come from Zimbabwe. And I've been in Limerick since uh, October I really like living here. Um, I think it's a. I have a family, so I think it's a really great place to raise my family. Is it a good place if you're a migrant? There are two views. Many migrants that come to Doris say yes. It is a very nice place to live and they prefer to live in Limerick rather than to live in Dublin or Galway or any other county or um, city or town in Ireland. On the other hand, m many other of our um, migrants actually say Limerick is not a good place to be. There is a lot of racism, discrimination and different differential treatment. Limerick, it is a good place to live in as a migrant, uh, even though there are two sides, you know, everywhere you go you always have two sides. You have the side of whereby people are, are nice and other people are bad, so you have to expect both sides. Yes, I've met good people who are very kind, generous, willing to help any way, I mean like they are always there for you. And I also have met people who are so mean some they look at you and some they say stuff to you which i cannot say because mean but that's how it is still i'm not feeling uh, limerick is a bad place 
because you know the some people are bad and some people are good. That's everywhere, not uh, not only in Ireland and Limerick. What I think integration is that everybody has one the right to do the same things and rights alone don't mean anything unless people have the actual capacity or the ability to do things because on paper things might seem equally easy or accessible to everybody but when you actually talk to a person and look at their own impediments what personal circumstances prevent them from getting what is due to them even that is where the difference is and if those impediments were gone that's when people become integrated in society, where they don't feel different. Society doesn't have to make, um, they don't have to make concessions for society. Society makes concessions for them. So that's what I would think integration is. Doris is, I think, running a series of eight events, I think, over the year, and I was involved in support, uh, working on the conference committee. The idea that we came up with was that because we're celebrating 10 years of Doris, so we wanted to look back on the ten, last 10 years, but we wanted to look forward as well to the next 10 years. Doris is an NGO working with asylum seekers, refugees, migrants, and migrant workers in Limerick. And we are an advice um, centre. We um, have a huge amount of events in Limerick. I suppose our, our main purpose is to give a, a, a support to new communities here in Limerick. New communities being anybody from overseas coming into to Limerick. And Doris, as you know, is the Irish word for door. So, um, and it's the door to Limerick. So, uh, but Doris, when we started off, was development organisation for refugees and asylum seekers. Now it has changed, as you know, and Doris, uh, it's just not for asylum seekers. It's for all migrants, um, whether they happen to be here five years, ten years or five days. Recently I went to Doris uh, Limney conference, uh, which was held like a few weeks ago. It was great and it was an eye-opening and um, I, I had a chance to, to hear other people uh, like uh, ministers speaking in terms of them uh, concerning the migrants and what other migrants are going through. So we're going to cheer ourselves on and say we are a great city, we are a great region and we welcome everybody and we should be an example to the rest of the country about how integration and real engagement works.